Queensland is on high alert as contact tracers work to track down the path of an infected flight attendant. The woman in her 30s had symptoms for more than a week before she got tested. Regional Queensland is so far escaping much of the COVID chaos experienced in the southeast until today. A 30-year-old woman developed symptoms on July 13 but didn't have a test until July 21. She crewed six flights between Longreach, Gladstone, Harvey Bay and Brisbane during her infectious period. Passengers from the following flights must get tested immediately and isolate. These include Qantas Flight 2534, 2535 and 2346 on July 11, as well as Qantas Flight 2331, 2374 and 2375 on July 12. It is absolutely urgent that we get every passenger on those flights tested as soon as possible. Uh, Queensland Health is standing up testing capacity uh, in those locations. Uh, Minister Glenn Butcher was on one of the flights between uh, Brisbane and Gladstone. Uh, he has been tested and is uh, in home quarantine. Genomic sequencing shows it's the Delta variant and it's come from the Sydney outbreak. Authorities are still working out how she caught it. Testing reveals COVID traces have been found in Byron Bay in northern New South Wales. It's prompted a stern reminder from the acting Premier that people in the border bubble should be entering Queensland for essential purposes only. What's at stake is the border zone itself. If we can't keep the border zone safe, then we won't be able to keep those arrangements in place and people won't be able to move. In. It's day one of a four-week hard border closure with New South Wales and already traffic is backed up for several kilometres. Every vehicle is being checked, including buses and garbage trucks. As border residents prepare for many weeks of chaos. It's not too bad at this time of the morning, thank goodness. I'm, I'm just hoping this pass will get me through because when I went to bed last night, we still couldn't get on to get the new one. So this one's still valid, fingers crossed, I'll get through. I'm delivering bread across the border a couple of times. This is going to get worse. Did you think it'll be coming back or? Uh, hoping not, but yeah. Here we are again. Yeah. The NRL has been caught breaching the bubble again. I'm very, very concerned about what is happening with these NRL players and we would have, you would have seen that imagery of the um, family hotel where they were sharing um, goods between verandas, so I, I am very concerned. The Chief Health Officer, Dr Jeanette Young, has warned the entire competition could be kicked out of Queensland if there's any more quarantine breaches. Georgia Simpson, Sky News.